Hello and welcome to day 100 of Dungeon 23. It feels like a milestone, kind of, because it's the first triple digit room, but also kind of not really, because it's not really like a third, we're not even a third of the way there. Even like episode 90 was like, like one fifth, like one fourth or one t whatever. And just because it started on a day that was also like the first of a month, it just felt a bit more special. So I don't really have anything special planned for this guy. I don't have any brand new updates other than the stuff I've been working on is still being worked on. But enough about that. What we have here is a secret room and I did a little bit of sketching of this guy here. Also, there's like a weird thing with like I underestimated how big it needs to be. And also, roll 20 doesn't like make things center for some reason. So, this is going to be an issue. I, I It's definitely going to be an issue. So, I don't know if I'm going to have to like constantly realign everything because you can't drag and snap drawings like this. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out when I get to it. But I did make this little bit of a room just so I kind of know what I'm going to go for. And, but that isn't the room we're making. This is the room. And what this is, is basically in this hallway. This door's unlocked, by the way. In this hallway, there is a wall here that's kind of like not assembled as solidly as the rest of the walls. So, with a DC-17 investigation or perception to kind of like notice like bits of wind coming through, air current, all that stuff. This is always like the go-to. Basically, with DC-17, you notice that this wall isn't completely solid. It's flimsy. It's not a lot there. And with a DC-16 strength check, or, like, using, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a spell that there's, like, a lot of force damage, or, like, Bigby's hand, which you probably, they don't have this point, not until 5th level. Or not 5th level, until 10th level. So, not for a while. But just any kind of spell that, like, moves things or pushes things around, you might be able to knock it over. But it contains a secret room here where there is some loot. And it's just an unlocked chest. And what it has is a plus one dagger, which isn't the best, but it's still pretty good. Especially if you have multiple people in the party who may use them. Like, I believe in the last one, there was a chance of the party getting like a plus one hammer or a plus one dagger. Because like, they're basically the same thing, only damage is different. Now, if you have, like, a rogue in the party, and they take the dagger, but then you also have, like, a wizard, then they might want to take the dagger, too, just as, like, a backup, if they don't have a lot of good cantrips. Or for, like, an magic, anti-magic field, because that may come up later. Maybe have a beholder somewhere in the dungeon, I don't know. Anything like that. It's good to have. Although, now that I think about it, would a plus one weapon still work in a anti-magic field? I think yes, but I'm not sure. It's very annoying how things are written because whether or not things are magical is basically flavor text for the most part so it's annoying how it works but other than that there's a potion of healing which you know is really good to have it's always good to have and a scroll of protection from good and evil or evil and good which i get why it's called that but it just rolls off the tongue better to say protection from good and evil and basically what that does is it makes it so extra planar creatures and undead do attacks against you with disadvantage you have advantage on saves against char being charmed or frightened basically it makes it gives you protection from creatures that are like physiologically good or evil although aberrations are kind of like amoral technically but they always are like evil even though they should be like chaotic neutral because that's just the way like lovecraftian creatures are is that they're like unobservable uh, ununderstandable, elusive, and enigmatic, and acting in a way that's incomprehensible to human morality, but that's the sense of point. But basically, you cast it from the uh, scroll. I went into a tangent before about how any class could use any spell that's in a scroll, because technically, according to the rules, you could only use a scroll if that spell's in your spell list, which basically means scrolls are mostly useless for anything other than like a wizard copying their spells down or most cast like the point you'd have a scroll is like to balance out of is like balance out like he martial heavy classes or martial heavy parties anyway that's a whole different tangent what's important is it makes those 
aberrations, undead, celestials, fiends, fae, and I think that's it. It doesn't affect monstrosities, giants, beasts, humanoids, or constructs. I may have already said constructs, I don't know. But basically, if it comes from another plane of existence, or gets its power from another plane of existence, like undead in the fae, then, yeah, it protects you from them. Your disadvantage on attacks, advantage on saves, that kind of stuff. And it's just some really good loot that's hidden behind this wall here. And depending on like which way they go and which path they take, they may not even find this because it's... And I might only put like maybe one other hidden room in this floor, depending on how long this goes on for and how many rooms there are and how big they are and that kind of stuff. There'll be like hidden stuff and loots and traps and all kind of bonuses, but not like explicitly hidden rooms like this. I'm not going to put any of the escape levers on the secret rooms because I think that's a bit... Secrets shouldn't really be necessities. They're bonuses for finding stuff. But that's basically this room, room 100. Pretty simple for what would be like a big monumentous thing, but maybe room 200. 200 seems like that's a really accomplishment. But other than that, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And if you want to see more, do that, like I just said. It looks like a notification thing, but I don't think that works, so... Oh well. And my apologies for the poor quality. It's not going to improve.